Today we are hosting a tryout to build the greatest AAU team of all time. We need to rebuild since last year we lost to Rod Wavy Lee in dramatic fashion. But you see, this year, we are on a mission to change that. So I posted a flyer asking the best middle school and high school basketball players in Pittsburgh to come out to Rise Sports so we could find the next underrated star. And, well, I was not expecting what we got. Today's the day, Rise Sports. You know us, we're here hours early. Getting ready. Got 150 kids sign up, so we'll see about do all of them come? Do they not? Last year we had like 25, so more than 25 would be great. This gym, unreal. We're excited to see how the day is gonna go. We got some hats, we got some merch. It's gonna be fun, so I think we just get after it. This is nice. Jackpot. So we got the Victor Insel's briefcase here. I'm doing a little challenge. We're gonna call it the catch a body challenge. If somebody in the gym catches a body today, meaning head tap, dunk on somebody, put them in the dirt, Victor Insel's briefcase comes out. They get a brand new pair, custom to their size, shipped to their door. Catch a body, you get rewarded. That's how we rule. We're gonna shut the whole tryout down too if that happens. Good. Okay. Pretty good. Makai is gonna run this side. So this would be middle school. So if you want to run it with Makai, like we'll just do some shooting drills. I don't know, some like three v twos, and then going to fives. All right. Just looking at the uh, the crowd that's pulling in. We got Pablo Bencaro in the white over here. If we have to throw Chris in, we'll throw Chris in. I'm just saying. All right. If you need me to go in, statistically how it would go would be 20 rebounds, six fouls, two technicals. Momentum shifted for sure, <laughs> but probably foul out. Couple kids injured. Probably not the best for all Hale B Ball's brand, but nonetheless, I'm a big dog, and sometimes you gotta let big dogs bark. This is B Ball. Get right. That was better. It's perfect. Go down. Hey! I can do that. I can do that for show. I can do that. <laughs> What's going on, dude? Oh, so you would you need some new ones if you could get some new ones. Okay, well, in that briefcase right there, it's a brand new pair. All you have to do is catch a dunk in the game when we start scrimmaging. If you can get that, those are yours. It's just called having the aura that he just knows he can't make it when he comes up right there. Coach MV1 here. Now you guys probably remember Makai Valentine or MV1 as our starting point guard on Team All Hail last season. Makai, he is currently uncommitted, but April 21st in Pittsburgh after our final game at Pit Jam, Kai's gonna be choosing his school live, so that video will have a crazy ending. He's running yes, the middle school side of things. Yeah. We're looking to take the best five that we can find from here, so what are we looking for? What, is, what stands out to you? A dog, somebody who's gonna get a bucket, somebody who's gonna play some defense, you know, somebody who's gonna do a little bit of everything. Get their teammates involved, you know, all the good stuff that a basketball player does. The middle school kid, if we were to throw you in the scrimmage okay. against the middle school kids. Okay. How many points? Uh, all of them. All of them? Yeah, I think okay. I'm just gonna score all of them. All right. I think this is gonna be all dunks too. If we were to throw Parker into the middle school game, he's not getting a bucket. Yeah. Yeah, he's not getting a, Yeah, you can put the camera right on him. He's not getting <laughs> no bucket. That guy with the camera, he's not getting no buckets. None. We heard it from MV1. We need fast, we need get the team involved, we need winners. So. I wanna see somebody who drops some dimes off too a little bit. Somebody with a little flashy pass. You know, you always can count on, always count on the little PG to have some flashy passes with him. We need somebody that's gonna cook. That's gonna cook. We need some dogs. This is Shaw here. He is the best trivia man, probably on the internet. You got one for me? I think we're gonna throw him into the game. So, uh, <laughs> all right, so he's got big channel. We're just gonna throw him in today and see how things go. If they can't, if they can't play against a washed up 26 year old who quit high school basketball after his freshman year, then like. Then you probably shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here. So this will be, be the here. test. I do have a grown man body. I am 205 pounds though, so like I'll have. <laughs> Called me out in his story the other day for hooping, so we're gonna have to. <laughs> I did, I did. We're gonna have to show him what's up. I was on call for, but yeah. you know, we'll see today. Let's... Just to make it very clear before we start, we are finding kids today for our middle school team that were competing over the summer, and then if there's a few high school kids that come out and you know they show they're a little bit of a dog, we might have a spot for them at Pit Jam come April 19th. So I think it's time we get this thing rolling a little bit. Let's see if we can find some dogs. Hey everybody, let's go. Come right here. Surround up in the center here, in the center. We're gonna get going here a little bit. 
All right, so appreciate you all coming. We're gonna have some more people rolling in around like two-ish. So, so these guys were on the team last year. They, uh, Makai Valentine right here, Ian Herring, Jack Dunbar over here, some of the best players in the Pittsburgh area. They came out last year and played with us. They played against Raw Wave Elite. These guys, uh, they put on a show, let's just say that. Jack actually was on the team because he came to the first tryout, beat every single player there in one-on-one. -on -one. I've never seen anyone more gas because well, you guys played one-on-one -on -one for like two hours. But Jack actually won it and got to come and play against, I don't know, there was like, I think 10,000 kids there watching us that day. Came up short, so we need to put together a team that's gonna be better than anything anyone has seen before. So for you guys in middle school, we need you to we need you to show out because like that's gonna be a big deal. There's gonna be some dogs out there. Uh, if you see any of my videos, or videos on kids who are in middle school throwing down some dunks. So we need some people who can actually really play. And then high school, we're looking to fill out the rest with like two or three more players for uh, Pit Jam April 19th. And we have three five-star kids committed to the roster right now and some big names. Some of these guys are gonna be out here too. They're a little bit old now, so we, we need to find some, some new guys who can come out and compete. So that's what we're here for. So I'm gonna get everyone over here on the baseline and we're gonna count you off. We're gonna go half over here, half over there, but everyone line up down here right now. Get a ball if you have one, and we're gonna get going here. Yeah, we're gonna do some like dynamic stretching for those who haven't warmed up. Uh, on you guys, let's go. We're looking for people right now. Like we need to make sure they're a little bit athletic. A little bit athletic. What are, what are the stretches you do? I don't even know. All right, let's go. We're gonna get into some shooting drills here. So we're just gonna start with some layup lines. Two lines each side, starting at rise, starting at 23. Yeah, we can do both hoops. So split your stuff up. One here, one here, one there, one there. Was our, uh, was our tryout one winner. He won last year, he won last year, so. All right, let's go down here. Let's see if we got any younger kids, what they got over here. Yo, yellow shirt. What's your name, bro? Nick, nice to meet you. Nick? You posted me one time. I did? I was shooting here, you said, I was playing some bums, like, cause I had the tape jersey. Oh, you were over here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said your name's Nick, right? Yeah. All right, Nick, so what can we, uh, you take this. Right, what can you. we, what can we expect from you today? I need, I need someone that can cook. What grade are you in? Eighth. Eighth, Eighth grade? Yeah. So you want to play the middle school team this summer, or what are you looking for? Don't even matter to me, just Don't wherever matter. I'm needed. Whatever you need it, though. So what, uh, what's your skill set? What can I, you I can definitely shoot. I'll be hitting some threes. I can dribble. I definitely distribute the ball. I'm not going ball hog. I'm not just going to play for myself, going to play for my team and try to get us to win each game. So if we were to put you up against, you know, we're in a situation. We're playing yeah. against, you know, let's say uh, Team Drifty Elite, my boy yeah. Jay. We're playing against Team Drifty. There's, I don't know, 5,000 people there watching. Baseline's full. Yeah. You can't even stand. Kids are hitting you in the back while you're yeah. inbounding. What, you staying or like you under pressure? How you nah, feeling, bro, man? I'm just playing my game. Don't worry about whoever else is there. Just playing. So if we were to put you right now, everyone's surrounded, you take a free throw, you hitting that? Definitely. You can do it right now. You want to do it right now? I don't care. Hey, everyone, everyone, everyone. All right, hey, so this is Nick. A big part of this is we need to find some people that under pressure can play. You guys, you can ask these three right here. When there's kids on the baseline and they're trying to grab your shirt, they're screaming at you, you guys are gonna be the villain every time we pull up anywhere. That's just kind of how this thing works. Like people are gonna be coming at you, people are gonna be yelling. It gets crazy. You can ask Makai, there's a video of him inbounding when there's kids literally pulling his jersey back while he has to throw this in, in like the biggest high pressure situation. So I need everyone right here to fill out around the free throw line Right here with the mic is Nick. He's in eighth grade. He says that pressure doesn't phase him. I need you guys all to get as loud as you can. We need him to miss this. So it's a pressure situation. So everyone just start yelling, screaming right yeah. now. And then Nick, it's on you, brother. Let's go. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Anyone else think they can hit it right now? One second, what's your name? Braden, let's see. All right, hey, if he makes it, you guys gotta give him some. You gotta get us a loud a little bit. Let's go. Let's go! All right, all right. We're two for two. This is the last one. We're going to some play. Hey! All right, we got some dogs out here. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everyone, you wanna get in a straight line right here. I'm gonna number you off a little bit, all right? I wanna break you guys off into uh, 
teams of three, and we're gonna do some half court play to start, get you guys loose, play with each other a little bit. If you're in high school, can you come stand right here? All right, so these guys are gonna be the team captains. All right, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna number you off, and you're gonna go there, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, hey, so this is how it's gonna work. There's gonna be three teams on each half. You're gonna play. When you get a bucket, your team stays. The other team doesn't get a bucket, you're on the baseline. So you're gonna go, you're gonna have three on the court each time, so you guys just kind of rotate if you have four. So we're gonna have this team, you're gonna start with the ball right here. These guys, you're gonna be on defense first. You guys are gonna be, when they score, they're on. So if you score, you check the ball back up top, okay? Yeah. Keep three on at a time, so one person's gonna have to sit if you got four, okay? Yeah, you guys get it? All right, I'm looking for somebody over here. We don't have a, we don't have a ton of size over here, but let's get in the blue. I'm excited to watch what he's got. Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, next team's on, next team's on. Blue, you're not checking it up. Now you're checking it up. Yes, sir. There we go, there we go. Listen, I'm a sucker for this big man camp. If you're showing any sort of footwork down there, I'm loving it. It's my favorite. It's so funny, we have like a 28 year old man playing against middle school kids over here, wearing a Dwayne Wade jersey. <laughs> Just trying to go big man camp. That was a lot of play. I don't want you guys to get gassed. You guys don't have as many people down here as they do over there, so catch your breath for a second, and we're gonna all come down here, and we're just gonna do it down there for a little bit, and then after that, get in some fives. But how are you guys feeling? Good? Good, I'm cool. What's your name? Jarrell. What's that? Jarrell. What grade are you in? Eight. Eighth grade, where you go to school? Listen, I like the I like the little finish down on the baseline. Thank you. I'm gonna see a little bit more of that, alright? Gotcha. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon? Where you go to school? Swickley. Swickley? That, that's that. Alright. So we'll come down here, catch your breath for a second, and then remember what teams you were on. We're gonna send you down over here, okay? All right, so I got I got my eye on little bro right here. He's dripped out of the Rick and Morty. What's your name, bro? Vinny. Vinny? What grade are you in, Vinny? Seven. Seventh grade, where do you go to school? Um, Montour. Listen, everyone over here be saying that you've had the best energy so far. I see the defense. What's your strengths? What can we expect out of you? Um, mid ranges and handles. And mid passes. So you got vision? Yeah. Okay. Bro, this is my favorite, bro. This is my favorite one so far. This is my favorite one so far. It's him, the one with the blue shirt, and then one OKC. They're my favorites right now. I like them. What's the thing? I like, I like what you've been doing. Thank you. You keep hustling out there. We'll see what you got, my guy. All right. All right. Come on. Boom. There we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jump on. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Jump on. Jump on. Jump on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Whoever gets it, you gotta take it back. You gotta take it back. You gotta take it back when you get it, all right? You ready? You got the NBA jump pole, guys? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> 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 yeah. Let's go. Hey, Vinny, you get out here, Vinny. 
All right, so this is gonna be our next three. This is kind of the dream team right now. We got seventh grade, 24th grade, eighth grade. So we'll see how this goes, all right? This is nice. Oh! Come on, baby! Back out to him, back out. Get it to him, get it to him! Luke ain't playing on E. FaceTime. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! All right, we got, this is the next three right here. This is the next three. Hey, first, first one to two. We're going to two right here. We're going to two, not to one. First one, two buckets. Let's see what they got. Get there, Vinny! Get there, Vinny, you gotta guard someone, Vinny! <laughs> yes, sir! That's one! That's one! That's one! Guys, Vinny's a little bit confused about who he's guarding, but... There you go, Vin! Get in there, Vinny! Oh, good move! Great work, great work! Hey, everybody! Everybody, take five minutes, go get some water, and we'll come back out, we'll get going. Get some water. Good work, brother. Here, let me get that mic from you. How this is gonna work. So you guys will play, you guys will play fours right now, half court, okay? We're gonna be finding out who's the best, because then we're gonna have two, a 3v3 team, whoever's the best, and in that briefcase is a pair of victory insoles. We're gonna have the best three players from this, or I guess technically best six players come out to compete for the victory insoles, okay? Team one and team four play first, and then you guys will go to three, and then two and three will come out and go to three, and then you'll just keep switching. Let you know? these kids play a little bit. Yeah, so far the best is by far the kid in the yellow. That Nick, you guys remember when we gave him the mic? He's been cooking the best. And then this kid in the blue, and honestly, Luka Doncic here is, is kind of cooking. I like what we got so far. case victory insoles we're gonna have a final competition here and jack and makai and i are gonna vote on who's the mvp of the game we have a high school mvp we have a middle school mvp we might have a 26 year old mvp depending how Dwayne wade plays so inside the box the winner will get a custom fitted to the foot a pair of victory insoles what that does makes you jump three inches higher or so. That's usually the average. And then you guys just play the two winning teams, okay? MVP of it takes on the insoles. You guys know what I'm saying? And if anybody catches a body, even one of y'all guys, if you throw it down, take them a pair. Okay? You throw it down, victory insoles are y'all's. That's crazy. Is the way way, Duncan? That's cr for victory insoles, I might need to. I might need to pull it out. I haven't dunked since like. You're not throwing lobs LeBron no more. You're throwing lobs yourself. I'm going off the backboard, windmill East Bay. And I'm taking home those victory insoles because I need three inches if we're being packed. I'll give you like 10 pairs if you put it on his head. Yeah. I know. If you dunk on him, I'll give you double the pairs. I've been waiting my whole life. He's built for this. I know this. I've been waiting my whole life for this. This is funny. Yes, sir. Good shot. He's got all six. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, blue shirt's cooking. Blue shirt's cooking. Although I like I like the vocal, the vocal strength of yellow here. Yeah. Woo! Oh, come on now! 
Yes, sir. Come on now. That was smooth, man. Damn. All right, I was a little disappointed at first, but this kid can hurt. Oh. Keep them hands up. Keep them hands up when you're deep. All right, we got the MVP settled, but you guys can just keep playing if you want. All right, so these guys are done. Come here, come here. All right. That's crazy. I ain't touch you. Listen, I, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out. You know, we, uh, we're going to do something pretty cool here this summer, and you guys are at the, the very start of it. So that's something that we'll always be able to remember, and you, know, you guys will be the foundation for the, the cool stuff that will come this summer that you guys will see. We uh, have a lot of like behind-the-scenes stuff that will come out over the next few weeks that you guys will all, all get to witness, and now you guys were firsthand of a part of it. So. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. You guys clap it up a little bit for yourself. You guys did real well. So down here on this side first, we had a team that won. So with the MVP of that game, goes to the kid who hit the game winner, my man right here. Yeah. Come on out, Nick. Yeah. Come on out, Nick. So in here is a pair of insoles, but there was a kid on the other team that I think scored every single point for them. <laughs> so come on out, come on out. Yeah. Let me take it, Brandon. So Brandon and Nick. And then down here on this side, I expect a little bit better from you guys, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what all that was. But Jack, come on, you get a pair yeah. too. Cause you put it on ahead, you got a dunk, you got a dunk. So, in here, victory insoles, right here. Yo. These are what they look like. You just give me your shoe sizes and your weight after. And then uh, you can DM me on Instagram and I will have them send them over to your guys' house. But for everybody else, appreciate you guys coming. That'll be a wrap for today. Uh, we will put out the actual roster and I'll hit you guys up on Instagram if you guys are actually making the cut for middle school kids. You guys will hear back in about a month or so, okay? Yeah. I'll respond to each and every one of you and uh, get your name put down on the list. But again, I appreciate it. Let's get a break here and then uh, we'll get out of here, all right? all right? All right. Let's go all hail on three. One, two, three, all hail. Yeah. So that's a wrap. Tryout number one is down, and honestly, we're gonna need a lot more skill than that. Pittsburgh, I'd like to see you do a little bit better next time. The kids that were there, we had a good time, they played well, but I know there's better players out there. So we still have a lot, and I mean a lot of work to do. But I've been recruiting every day, and I'll tell you right now, we will have three five stars on the team and some of the biggest names in high school hoops. So when that roster drops in two weeks, I'm telling you, you're gonna be surprised. And next week, I'll be at Chipotle Nationals recruiting some of the best talent in the country. So overall, we're gonna be in good shape, but we're definitely gonna need another tryout. So let me know in the comments what city we should come to next. And apparently there's a video on the screen that uh, YouTube says you're gonna really like. So how about you click that, click subscribe, and we'll catch you next time on the recruiting trail for Team All Hail.